Hello people, what's up? We are from Breaking Code and today we are here to teach you another coding problem. The name of the problem is Closing the Tweets. Now this problem is from Medium section from CodeChef. Of course the link of the problem is in the description. Do have a look at the problem and then only come back to this video. Uh, this problem is quite easy, it doesn't quite belong to Medium section like we can solve it by normal ways. So in this problem what we have is two inputs. Uh, we'll take the same example from the problem itself. 3 and 6 what this 3 indicates we have 3 tweets that is tweet number 1 2 and 3 uh, now uh, there will be 6 inputs that will be click 1 so what given in this example is uh, we will be having 3 tweets and uh, 6 queries that uh, we have seen we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as mentioned in the problem initially all the twe uh, tweets will be closed now uh, and uh, as we click on it the tweet gets open and uh, if we click on it again it gets closed like if we click on a closed tweet it gets opened and if we click on an open tweet it gets closed so this is the problem and we have to check like in each and every step or the count of the number of tweets which are open like initially the count is 0 after clicking 1 tweet number 1 gets opened that's why to count uh, total number of tweets that are open that is count is equal to 1 in this case tweet 2 gets opened and 1 is already open so count remains 2 3 in this case uh, we click on tweet 2 so Count, uh, tweet 2 is already open and if we click on it again it gets closed so count becomes 2 count minus minus close all what this close all indicates it closes all the tweets that are available and that's why the count becomes 0 and click 1 means uh, tweet number 1 gets open as all the click, uh, tweets are closed here so click after cl clicking on tweet 1 it gets open and so the final count is 1 so we have to print this so this is quite simple uh, like you guys might have thought about an idea we'll use the same technique called as hashing which we used a lot of times previously uh, the link of the technique like the problem in which we use a technique is in the description do have a look at that video and get introduced to that technique called as hashing now let's use it like if we have three tweets we'll make an array of three elements like this uh, in indicates tweet number one this uh, indicates tweet number two tweet number 3 so what's the first input was click 1 like uh, the initially all the tweets are closed that's why we initialize each an element uh, each element to 0 then it's click 1 so what this click 1 indicates we'll make the 0 1 why because it, the tweet is open the 0 indicates tweet is closed and this 1 indicates tweet is a uh, tweet is open and we'll also increment the count so that we don't have to traverse the array in each and every step uh, to check how many tweets are open so after clicking we do count plus plus uh, if the element is 0 we check if it's 0 then we uh, uh, make it 1 and uh, increment the count like uh, the second example is click 2 so this 2 is 0 so it becomes 1 and then again count plus plus click 3 so this 3 becomes 1 because it's, it was 0 then again count plus plus now as click 2 so 2 is already 1 so in this case what we do is if it's already 1 what we do is count minus minus and make this 1 0 it ind indicates that a tweet 2 gets close so uh, and if we get close all what happens is we uh, do set the count variable equal to 0 and we uh, initialize all the elements equal to 0 at this close all stage and again in the click 1 uh, we uh, set this variable as 1 uh, so the final count becomes 1 uh, this is how you solve the problem closing the tweet it was quite easy so let me summarize the logic for you like how do you write the code initially what we'll do is uh, take an array uh, of the number of elements which are given like uh, in this case it was 3 initialize all the elements to 0 then we can take the input uh, in various ways like uh, we can take a string from the uh, user like uh, for taking the input uh, the word click uh, or close all so if we get the word click there then we accept an integer because uh, we have to specify the number in front of click and if it's close all then we do our thing that is we don't accept any integer so we do this and then again if we check like the number which we get in front of click 
check its index like if it's already equal if it's equal to 0 then what we do is make uh, it equal to 1 and count plus plus so after doing count plus plus uh, the element becomes uh, uh, the counter becomes 1 and if the element uh, in front of the click if it's already equal to 1 then what we do is make it 0 and count minus minus And if we get a close all situation like if we get as an input a close all then what we do is use a for loop for i is equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. What we do is initialize each and every element to 0 like and then what we do is uh, uh, initialize also count equal to 0, there will be a bracket here. So this is how you solve the sum like uh, in each and every case uh, you check and this is not the best way to solve the sum because the uh, time complexity of this logic is slightly more but we checked it the solution gets accepted. So this problem was quite simple and easy it belongs to medium level of course chef feel proud that you are doing the problems of medium uh, section so thanks guys for watching the video do subscribe to our channel we will be making more videos do like the video if you get the logic and Thank you, goodbye, peace.